What I'm going to show you is the maintenance management system within Checkmate. And what this allows you to do is batch your maintenance so that you're conducting your maintenance in an efficient manner. What I've pulled up here on this board is a list of all maintenance reminders that are due within 45 days, a thousand kilometers since we're this customer is in Canada, and a hundred engine hours. And you, when I click show, I can see all my reminders. I can see the vehicle and the particular reminders for that vehicle. If I click on a particular reminder and look at the history, or if I want to uh, mark that this rem reminder has been completed, I'd click on here, view history. And I can see the actual history of this reminder for this vehicle. And what I would then do is just add an event to mark that I've completed this, uh, this reminder. So I just click add and update the time period of when the reminder was done. Suppose it was done yesterday. I could update the odometer and make any notes I need to make. So that would complete the reminder and take it off my reminder list. Uh, another thing what we'd like to learn is how to set up our reminders. So just click set up. And it's, it's fairly straightforward. You just add a new reminder, put in your parameters on how long, often the reminder would be done, and you'd add that vehicle, add a vehicle to that particular reminder. So we got a tire change, so we want to add, let's suppose we want to add another vehicle to that tire change. Um, so let's just add one. And what, what, you, what you need to do is you need to mark in the system when the tire change was conducted for the vehicle so the system knows. Uh, that how to follow this time period that you've set up 16 months or every 50,000 kilometers. So, um, if this is uh, if it was done 20,000 kilometers ago, you make sure to note that in your odometer reading, and that way the, the schedule can be conducted accurately. So, that's basically the reminder rules. Um, another extension to this, and it's important to look at, is the engine faults, which we'll discuss.